Hey guys, it's Sam here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we got some more IU uh, for us as we continue our way through the uh, last fantasy album. Uh, I think there's this one and one more that we'll get to next week to finish off this album and then keep going down the next one. Uh, this one's called 4AM. Uh, I've been using this channel a lot. Um, I think it's Olivia something or other. I'll look at it here in a minute, but uh, for the IU vids, I, I, I just like them. Like they seem to be good, so let's go. All right, all right, all right. This is gonna be like 4 a.m. thoughts. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Her, her voice is very like almost like I don't know the best way to describe it it's like um that like whiny jazz style of voice if that makes sense Maybe sultry jazz voice is the better the better descriptor. It almost sounds like it's not even IU singing, right? Like, like this sounds like her. Such a great picture to, to use for this video too, like. Okay, so I know this is it's, it's an overdub of her vocal, right? Because it's both of her vocal, both of these lines are her vocal lines. It's something that's I I I personally think it's really hard to do because you harmonizing with yourself when you're already singing the main line. It's kind of hard, like it's pretty difficult. Um, I think one of the best to ever do it though is uh, Pink Floyd's David Gilmore. Go if if you're not a huge Pink Floyd fan or. If you don't know who I'm talking about, go look at Pink Floyd. Just pull a couple random tracks. He was the main vocalist. Obviously, Roger Waters sang some to uh, the keyboardist whose name I'm blanking, sang some as well. Um, but uh, David Gilmore did a lot of double track vocals um, to where he would sing both the main line, you know, the melody line and the harmony line. And sometimes he would sing a double, double main line and they would track them over. And it's... To me, I think it's something that's very difficult to do because when you're already singing the main line, you're already you're kind of like one track almost on what you want to sing. But then you have to sing this other harmony piece to go with it. And IU does it a lot. She does it a lot for recording purposes. And like, I'm always, I don't say in awe, but I always respect the art of it because it's something that's really, in my opinion, really hard to do. Obviously, if you're a god tier vocalist like I use, probably whatever, but. And it's already over. Damn, that was much shorter than I thought. Um, but. Yes, Olivia White is the channel. Um, just think, I've, I've been using her channel. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna assume Olivia White is, is a female. Um, but if not, 
I've been using their channel a lot, a lot, a lot for um, uh, for IU lyric vids. I, I I don't know. I just I just like how they're laid out more than anything else, and I think they're they're really good. And they're they're also newer, which makes me feel like they're a little bit more maybe thought out of, or or correct if that makes sense. But this song um, definitely about like 4 a.m. thoughts. You know, it's like the the rain's falling. There, I, I can't call anybody. I'm looking out in the streets to try to see what's going on and happening, but there's no cars passing. There's, I'm, the, I'm the only one alive in the world type deal. She's got that real like sultry, jazz-ish, uh, like vocal tone going on. And it's just, I mean, the music's really interesting too. You know, a lot of, uh, you know, Ottawa and synth on the guitar. The bass line's good. Just simple, simple drums for the most part. Nothing too crazy. And as usual, IU fits the mood of, what's being put in front of her as far as music is concerned for the score but what a cool what a cool fucking song honestly what a real cool fucking song uh but let me know what you guys thought about it thanks for sticking around to the end cheers to you guys and we'll see y'all in the next one